This is Vintage presentation of Coldwater Creek Inc. It's a NASDAQ listed stock trading, our ticker CWTR. Clearly a bottom play here. Stock up around $4 earlier on this year. Sunk all the way down to $0.65 cent lows this last week. But had a real nice day on Friday. Closed up almost 11%. Okay liquidity in this play. Almost 500,000 shares traded. Going to kick this New Year's week off. Keeping an eye on Coldwater Creek. Making sure this bottom support at $0.65 cents holds. To see if this has got an upward push in it to continue the bounce. Now in the recent week or so. MACD is fading back off a little bit. Of course, price per share fell through a support right around 80 cents. But in a little bit longer term, uptrending, and in the very near term, histogram bar is moving back towards zero, which tells us it could be another bullish cross coming of the 12 passing through the 26 EMA. Now, what I think is particularly interesting about this chart is this isn't exactly a PPO ADX pinch. I'd like to see this ADX just a little bit higher up near the negative DI, but it has the looks of that formation. And in general, if a PPO ADX pinch, what I look for is the PPO to continue to trend upward for the ADX to form a similar type of look with the ADX up on top right next to the negative DI and the positive DI down low. It's a nice reversal position. And when that happens, a lot of times you'll see a real nice bounce in the price per share. So it's worth paying attention to because of that setup. Now we're going to see some deeply depressed indicators. Obviously, the stock's been selling off hard, but we're going to see a little bit of reaction to the buying pressure on Friday. That's what's going on with the MFIs down in bear chart territory, but making a move. Similar with the accumulation distribution, got a bounce on Friday, some buying pressure clearly came into the play. Shaking money flow, down low, reversed course. Being in the red still says that over the last 20 periods, selling pressure is well outweighing buying pressure, but it's early on signs for a bounce. Same way with the CCI, breaking through negative 100. Bottom feeders will use that as a buy point. It'll be a sell as soon as it breaks back down through negative 100. Technically speaking, the official buy point doesn't come into the break of 100. You can see it's been a long time since Coldwater Creek has actually given a buy signal based upon the CCI. Full stew, turned upward with a little bit of buying pressure. Says some very early on momentum's building, but as I say, it's very early on. I want to see this full stew over top of 50 to show any sustained bullish momentum, and it's been quite a while since that's happened as well. And the tricks, a lagging indicator of trend. All I'll look for is something along those lines, continue to make the higher low, and move back towards zero. RSIs. They can move pretty quickly, probably the most commonly used gauge of momentum. See the 7 just shot upward with the move on Friday. As with other indicators, I want to see all three components over top of 50 to show that there's bullish momentum being sustained in the play. So really what this comes down to is looking for this bottom support at 65 cents to hold. And I think there's another one that actually can be found right in through there around 70 cents that the stock was trying to hold before gapping down to open Friday and making the sharp move upward. So I pay attention to that first level of support. Obviously, if it breaks through 65, you're going to see these indicators snap back downward. Chart's going to get a little bit uglier. Maybe look for another bounce. But for the intents and purposes of a technical analysis of it, there's no more support in sight. So for me, it would just be a walk away from the chart for a moment and look for some additional support to set up. Now to the upside, I think resistance is going to start right around 80 cents. But it's going to be stronger right up around 85. That was a pretty clear area of support. Even back here in October for a nice bounce through November, beginning part of December. That's where I look for resistance to really start to pick up. There's going to be another level just above that, right around 95 cents, which again was a support point and a resistance point. And then we're talking about the 50-day moving average, which is at 93. And this chart hasn't moved above 50-day since way back here in early September. And even at that point, it barely held, came running right back down, continued the fall. So I'd look for that resistance point to be pretty heavy as well. Beyond that, though, you're talking about some pretty nice gains on so the next level of resistance, up around $1.24. And at that point, we're really looking for the overall reversal of the chart, for this to be identified as a true bottom, and for a slow and steady upward trend to try and continue. Right now, we're just talking about a technical bounce and a continuation from Friday's move, and to see what happens going forward with trying to go through, take on some resistance points, and then hold some new support levels at higher lows to try and develop some sort of an upward path for the chart. Those are the type of things that I'll be looking for in the CWTR chart. But as always, it's really my interpretation. Thank you for watching. Trade smart.